17 right now, one in every four deaths nationwide is linked to heart disease, making it the leading cause of death in the United States. Heart failure costs our country more than $30 billion every year, not to mention countless hours, numerous visits to the doctor's office. But a tiny device inside a patient's blood vessels is helping some live with more confidence and more importantly, fewer hospital visits. Only here on News 3, we catch up with a man who says life has been better since one simple surgery. I'm Vice President of the 4th of July Committee, Treasurer of the Columbia County Economic Development, Party Valeria Business Association. Getting on Bob Becker's calendar is... President of the Columbia County Tourism. It's a challenge. I put on the program for the Memorial Day celebration that we have in Partyville. It's an accomplishment. And there's about 10 different organizations. I got to keep a calendar or else that get messed up. He penciled us in during volunteer time. People say, why are you in so many committees? It gives me a reason to get up. For a few hours every Tuesday. Keeps me busy. Bob's at Divine Savior Hospital, stocking shelves and taking stock. I think it's been a big improvement for me. Last time we managed to fit into Bob's schedule, he was in surgery last year, getting what's called a cardiomems implanted in an artery. That small device allows his doctors to remotely monitor how his heart is doing. Laura keeps pretty close tabs on me. Hopefully I'm not looked at as the bad guy. <laughs> It's not the time filing, but the high sodium Chinese takeout he now sparingly eats that gets Lowry on the line. You know, if I have too much, I know I'm probably going to get a call from Lowry. So. For the most part, I hope they appreciate it, <laughs> that we're trying to help them. All righty. Lowry Tierney is in Bob's better half, but she does check in on him a couple times a week. It gives us a lot more information as far as helping us to make decisions about their heart failure. Monitoring patients like Bob while he goes about his volunteering, committee meetings, and the occasional low main cuts down on office visits and allows Lori to adjust medications before he even feels sick. The big benefit of this is that we can actually catch when someone's starting to have more heart failure problems before they even start to have symptoms. You know, I'm pretty independent. People maybe don't think that if you have heart failure, you can basically live a pretty full life. Yeah, it's been good. Because for folks like Bob, there's no use having a big heart if it isn't working like it should. People are a lot worse off than I am. At least I can get up, do what I can do. Maybe not all of what I want to do, but at least I can do some things. I'm thankful for that. And Lowry with SSM Health says they're always looking for future candidates to have the CardioMEMS device. She says this is just the beginning for people being able to manage heart problems outside of the doctor's office. There are also wearable monitors starting to emerge that track similar signs and symptoms without surgery.